hello welcome back to my channel i was out of town for like the past two weekends well this past weekend so hopefully i can get this up today which is a sunday or maybe tomorrow morning we'll see but i wanted to show you how i shoot my reels what my setup looks like right now let's go outside i will show you everything i'm shooting a reel and tiktok on my flannel collection so there's all my hangers all my flannels I'm gonna have a hat. This chair is dirty, so I gotta clean this up. And then here's my little tripod setup. Here's my phone, just burning in the sun. It's not that hot though. So I just stand here and I have my clothes nearby. That way I don't lose my spot when I'm shooting my reels. So I can always easily reach what I need. And that's how I do it. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna get started on the door. So here's the magnetic screen door from Amazon that I'm going to be installing today. Pet friendly, lets air and light in. So I like that easy to install. So we'll see. I know my friend has one of these and she said it was pre pretty easy. So here's everything that I came with. She ended up using just the adhesive and Velcro. She's in an apartment, so I don't know if that's gonna damage it, but it says use the adhesive on Use the adhesive Velcro piece if you have metal door frames, but if you have wood, use the push pins it comes with. And here outside, it's wood, because I'll be pinning it right there. The screen door. I like the one my friend has. It's exactly the same, so I think I'll really enjoy this. And hopefully, I can put it up correctly. Let's see. This also came with a little manual, a little instruction guide on how to install it. Um, it says I have to clean the door frame. I'm not really excited about that, but I guess I should try it out, do it right, you know? because I tried pinning this in and it actually did work, it did hold, but I wouldn't have been able to pin the sides down because part of it would have to go down here. So that wouldn't have worked. This probably could have worked easily, it would. So basically I have a dilemma and I don't want to put it up like that because it's not going to work. And I'm afraid to use the adhesive because it's going to rip this paint off. Because it's, it's really strong adhesive. And reviews said that it damaged the paint anyways. So we're kind of at a standstill. Okay, so today's video was supposed to be about that Amazon magnetic screen door a review video. But since that didn't work out, this is going to turn into a little day of the life. So let me show you what's been going on. So here is the office and closet space right now. 
I've slowly started gathering some things together for the wedding week. I've got some shorts I'm bringing, some bodysuits, romper, some tops. This is from a little reel I shot today. This is my sweater for work, um, hangers. This whole table is a mess, really. Here's my collection of shoes that I think I'm going to bring to Tennessee because the wedding is in Tennessee. These boots, not bringing those. I just don't know if that's too many. Can't decide. I don't have a good pair of nude heels. I have those over there, but that's not what I really am looking for. And I have those, if they can focus. Really comfortable, but not what I'm looking for. So these are my options. These are my actual bridal shoes that I'll be wearing with my dress. They're from Badgley Mishka, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I would say it's true to size because I think these are a size seven. Yep. So very good. Or already broke them in. Chris's tux is from Generation Tux. Those are the shoes it came with. And this is the garment bag I got from Amazon. Today's kind of just like an Amazon haul day. So here's the garment bag. Now that it's focused, I can show you in here. Do you see that? So there's a few, I think three little hoops or loops that you can hang your gar your, your dresses in. So one, two, three. So that means I can fit his tux. My rehearsal dress, I got this from Lulu's. This is also from Lulu's. I think this whole set right here, even this two-piece dress, oh no. This is my Lulu's collection, basically. So my rehearsal dress, um, this was supposed to be my rehearsal dress, but I changed my mind, or maybe this was my my bachelorette dress. I don't know, but I'm gonna just wear two dresses, one for the rehearsal lunch, we're having a lunch, and then a little um, change of outfit for the bridal shower. And then my bachelorette outfit is right here. It's a two-piece. I'll link all of these. So what I like about this garment bag is that you can actually strap your clothes down, which I think will really come in handy, especially if when you are hanging or putting more than one garment in here. So you can do that. And then once you zip it up, you have these little things right here, which I'm a little confused about. Okay, so I figure out the problem. I kept thinking you had to fold this in half and that was it. No, you actually fold it right here. There was a crease line right here. Did you notice that? That crease line right there. So you fold that and then you fold it again, which now makes sense because now you buckle these together on each side. See, this one has it too. And you have your handles right here. Now you can wear it. Let me show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. So easy, so convenient. This is what it folds into. And here's that little buckle I was telling you about. Easy, see? I'm ready to go. I really like it. And then once you get to your destination, unhook everything and you can hang it with this little hanger. So this is nice because you're not actually using the hanger that's gonna be for your clothes. Um, this is just its own hanger for the garment bag. So it's really convenient. And then here's that little zip pocket. I don't really know what I'll use this section for. But here's a look at it. It's not that, I mean, it's pretty deep actually. Okay, so since this video really has no main purpose or subject, I kind of want to talk to you about my new favorite pieces of jewelry. And it's from a new small business called Butones, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Butones. Here's my latest purchase from Butones. So you can see it's two-toned with the gold on the back and silver in the front, the Hermes part. And I really like that, you know, Hermes being so ridiculously expensive, I will never be able to afford anything from the brand. But now with this, with the small business I found on Instagram, I can own a little piece of it. I can own this button made into a necklace. Like it's so convenient and so just nice. Also got my first pair of Chanel recycled earrings. Let me go grab them. 
Okay, so here are my new Chanel earrings. So I believe these were buttons and you can see on the back where, um, I'll try and show you right now. So here they are, the Chanel earrings. I normally w also wouldn't be able to afford um, Chanel earrings. They're just so expensive for just, for just earrings, you know? And I know these were buttons because the designer said so on the website, but you can also look at the back and I think if I zoom in, you should be able to see those two little dots there in the middle. Yep, that shows me that there were buttons. But look, they're authentic, very real. The quality is amazing because of course it is Chanel, but even after it's changed into earrings, it's so nice. And I wanted to show you how they look on because because for me, when I was ordering these, I had to guess what size I thought would look best on me because I just, I didn't know. And I will look back at my order and see what size these exact earrings are so that I can show you that way you'll have a little reference point as to how it will look on. So let me turn sideways for you. So here you can see this is the earring on. It touches my second earring here in the middle, but you know what? It's not a big deal to me. If I want to remove that earring right there, I can, I can do so like no worries. I just love how it looks. Like to me, I think this is a great size. I originally wanted really, really, really tiny uh, really dainty Chanel earrings, but now I don't even know if they exist and I probably made that up ever since like high school, you know um, But I think these are the perfect size. I don't think they're too big uh, They're they're not overpowering and it's just great. So and, and this and this section of the video isn't sponsored at all I just truly love what this business owner creates with recycled designer pieces if these are pieces that are going to go to waste why not make them into something that people can actually afford and use so i love butonas and i'm so happy i'm just really truly obsessed on how like you can get these pieces for an affordable price for designer items just a quick little note this Express blazer is one of my best sellers throughout every week I see at least one of my oversized blazers makes it on my bestseller list So I just want to mention that to you just in case they uh, start selling out because for a while I think they were back on sale and it was like a constant bestseller one week So I'm just gonna link it down below that way you have access to that um, Blazer in case you want to check it out because I feel like they always come back in stock and that is such a great basic staple color to have staple piece to have I almost forgot, I wanted to give you guys an update on my sunspot. So I've been getting a lot of laser facials. I've had three total. I've had the photo facial and I don't know if IPL is the photo facial. There's, I've got, two, I, get, I got two different kinds of laser facials done each time. And then I also had the aqua facial at the end. And I just want to let you know, I do have makeup on, but my sunspots have brightened up so much it's made a noticeable difference so i think you'll be able to see in my past videos that these spots right here were a lot darker and they were bigger now they're they're faded and they're just not as big as they used to be this right here also started fading this got a little bit lighter and you can't see much of it right now because of the makeup but you can see it's there um so they're all still there but it's just much lighter and i'm so glad i got it done because can you imagine how dark it would be? So now the question is, will I continue to keep going? I don't know, um, probably not anytime soon. I think I'm gonna wait, take a little break. Um, at least I got it done before the wedding and now, you know, it's just not gonna be as dark. And that's what I really wanted. I really wanted to just brighten them up. I know it's gonna take some time to make them fully disappear. So maybe later I'll look into that, so. But right now I'm just gonna take a break. All right guys, I think I'm gonna keep this video pretty short because I don't wanna keep rambling on about something random. Um, sorry that Amazon video didn't really work out that well. Maybe later, we'll see. Um, this will be my, well, next weekend will be my last weekend here in Montana until we go away for a week for our wedding. So I'm gonna try to get something set up. Hopefully I can, maybe I'll do like a wedding prep video as in like packing and exactly what I'm bringing. I'm hoping I can bring everything in a carry-on, but we'll see. I'm definitely checking, or I'm definitely bringing this on as a carry-on item because I don't want anything to happen to my dress, you know, or his tux. And then my shoes, it's just, there's a lot that goes into it. and. Montana it's difficult so things are a little hectic right now we're just trying to get everything organized get everything situated make sure I don't forget to pack anything I have a little pile of wedding stuff here in the corner that I cannot forget it has my veil um, tape because um, I can't wear a regular bra with my dress 
um, all my shoes. It's just, it's gonna be busy. But hopefully after the wedding, I'll get back to a more normal schedule, but get back on routine and have more things lined up for you ahead of time instead of the last minute, so. So thank you so much for tuning in you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it wasn't exactly what i planned but follow me on instagram um i also am on tiktok but i don't really browse tiktok i like reels more actually anyways i'm gonna stop talking so i can let you go thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next video